Hi guys, so I had been requested for a strategy video for the IIT exam examination and I know the exam is in a couple of days and the strategy video does not really make sense. So what I've instead done is given you a list of last minute topics, especially the ones that you might have missed out in your preparation. Okay, so this video is for someone who, is, who has been preparing and uh, now they are in this phase of revision. So there are certain topics that were there in let's say 2020, 2019 which I did not see, like I did not see the questions in 2022 examination. So I have listed down those topics and these can be done in a very, very short span of time. And again, I, like I said, these might be the topics that have been missed out um, while your revision or while your preparation. So what I've done is I've analyzed the 2015 paper, which was again conducted by IIT Guwahati. This, this time the IIT exam 2023 is also being conducted by um, IIT Guwahati. And uh, I had analyzed 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022 IIT jam examination. So as you can see over here, uh, one topic that I did not see was Bosch reduction. So make sure that you do Bosch reduction really well. Uh, apart from that, uh, please be very, very careful about these interconversions. That is Fisher projections, Sawhouse projection, and Newman projection. So you should know the interconversions. Sometimes the question is asked related to stereochemistry and it is given in Fisher projection. So you should know, you should know that how can you interconvert all these projections uh, just in case if this particular thing is asked in the exam. So the concept might be simple, but if you do not know the interconversion, you would not be able to do it. Then most of you would know that rearrangements, that is rearrangement reactions are very common in IIT jam examination, right? Um, all common rearrangements like pinacol, pinacolon. Uh, Beckman rearrangement, like there are many rearrangement reactions. Um, I'll try and list them down somewhere on the right hand side. Uh, okay, then reactive intermediates. This is something that I have not seen over the years. So please make sure that you do that is reactions of carbenes, nitrines and benzene, especially when you add sodamide and NH2 in liquid ammonia and it leads to the formation of benzene and then how it is going to further react. So please uh, make sure that you do revise the active intermediates, particularly the reactions, carbenes, nitrines, and benzene. And then spinels is something that I've not seen over the years. So again, make sure that you do a direct question based on uh, normal and inverse spinel. Um, term symbols is something which uh, I have seen in the exam over the years, yet I've just listed it down that this is something that is always asked. So make sure you do this. Same with the Vesper theory. Then we have uh, matrices and determinants. Okay, so this is something that I saw in 2021 and 2020 also, but I did not see a question in 2022. So just in case if this is also something that has been missed out uh, by you, please make sure you do this. This will not take more than 15 to 20 minutes to practice uh, certain questions on matrices and determinants. Okay, you can see the previous year questions on, on what kind of um, questions have been asked in the jam exam from this topic and just practice them. Then uh, in uh, kinetic theory of gases, you should be aware of the basic formulas of average velocity and uh, RMST, okay? Then structure of boranes. Again, this is a topic that has been asked previously. So I'm sure you might have already practiced it in your revision, um, but I've just mentioned it again because um, it keeps on coming in the examination. Then we have chair and board confirmation. Um, so I did not see any questions from the confirmation of cyclohexanes. Um, in the last couple of years. So make sure you do uh, some questions based on that or at least revise that in in what kind of confirmations is a board confirmation more stable than a chair confirmation. There are sort of exceptional examples. So make sure you do that. Then we have Beer Lambert's law. Um, then we, over here I've written atomic theory. But this is basically the topic which is pre previous to quantum, like uh, the structure of the atom where you have Bohr's model and then you need to calculate the wavelength of a uh, uh, wavelength of a radiation okay like where the red box constant comes into the picture so make sure you do those kind of numericals this could this could be particularly important from a numerical point of view or NAT type questions uh, then nuclear in nuclear you should be aware of uh, uh, like numericals on radiation then uh, alpha particle what happens when the alpha particle is emitted what happens when a beta particle is emitted then uh, in solid state you must have already done your defects and your Bragg's law and uh, you know um, the relationship like between in an orthorhombic uh, crystal lattice or in a uh, monoclinic crystal lattice what is the relation between H, uh, between the lengths um, different lengths and the different angles apart from that please do FCC BCC like the relationship between the radius and the edge length okay 
then we have the kinetic isotopic effect uh, this is a question that i saw in jam 2015 again a simple concept 10 15 minutes maximum uh, this could be a part of your multiple select questions so make sure you do kinetic isotopic effect and double bond equivalent this sometimes is also asked like a degree of unsaturation right then maxwell relationships uh, there's a box through which you can derive the maxwell relationship and carnot cycle in a carnot cycle the formulas of a carnot engine like the efficiency of a carnot engine that is something that you should definitely do and particularly in reagents all of you know a lot of questions come from reducing the agents and oxidizing agents particularly chemo selective reducing agents and chemo selective oxidizing agents like linlar catalyst gives us cis alkene um whereas if we add lithium and liquid ammonia it will give us trans alkene right um but apart from all of this please make sure you do deprotecting reagents uh, like how do you deprotect the benzyl group or how do you deprotect the fmo group the boc group okay so deprotecting reagents just have a look at that uh, it is given very well in clearing there's a page uh, which summarizes these deprotecting reagents in a very very um, efficient and lucid manner and at last in heterocycles uh, please make sure you have a basic understanding of the inter like how do you synthesize heterocycles like for example fischer indole synthesis or there was a question on pyridine hans synthesis indoles pyridine uh, quinones at least for these three you should be aware of the synthetic uh, strategies the name name reactions uh, for synthesizing indoles uh, quinoline and pyridine okay so i think this would be enough for you because i think on a saturday you would be taking a preparation lightly so if you just make sure if you, if you have missed out any of those topics just quickly get go through them it just might be asked in the 2023 examination with this uh, i wish you all the very best take care